Intuition is an INFJ's greatest strength, and yet we often lose touch with it as we try to fit in. In a world that constantly tells us to follow the crowd, INFJs can easily lose their mightiest gift and ally, intuition. INFJs live in a world of quiet introspection and imagination. They have an uncanny ability to see through people, situations, and words to find hidden meanings, motives, and outcomes. They care very little about how something appears to be on the surface, but instead try to peer deeply into what something means, what's its essence, or core truth. INFJs are known for their strong insights about people and situations. They get these insights through the use of their dominant cognitive function, introverted intuition. They also are extremely aware of people's emotions and moods using their auxiliary function, extroverted feeling. This combination of skills means that an INFJ can easily pick up on even the slightest mood changes and inconsistencies in behavior and then intuitively grasp what might be bothering the person. They are constantly aware of other people's body language, tone of voice, and facial expressions to pick up on hidden meanings, motives, or feelings. This can give them an aura of seeing through someone, and it helps them deeply empathize with and understand others. It also makes them excellent counselors, therapists, and social workers. As far as being psychic, the INFJ can't read minds or literally see into someone's future. They rely on their advanced intuition to scan through loads of sensory information and grasp patterns and connections that give them a clue about what may happen in the future. They are good at determining future outcomes but it isn't because of any magical ability. It's simply the way the INFJ's mind is programmed. This is where we get into really understanding INFJ introverted intuition. Introverted intuition is the most advanced and utilized function of the INFJ. This is what some like to call their superpower function. It is the ability to find meanings and connections behind things and then connect the dots of those clues into a future-oriented response. Why is this here? What does this mean? What does this tell me about the future? INFJs have a tendency to always look forward and to always decipher what current information can tell them about a future outcome. One of the best ways to understand introverted intuition is to compare it to its opposite, introverted sensing. While introverted sensing is focused primarily on storing personal impressions from concrete data and learning from it, Introverted intuition is focused on connecting impressions or patterns from current experience and unconscious data to form a forecast of what is yet to come. This is why INFJs, INTJs, ENFJs, and ENTJs will focus a lot on future ideas and outcomes as ISTJs, ISFJs, ESFJs and ESTJs will hold on more to the past and teachers from the past. NI users will focus more on theories and impressions and SI users will focus more on literal details and facts. How do INFJs get their intuitive hunches? INFJs combine dominant introverted intuition with inferior extroverted sensing. Extroverted sensing 
gathers copious amounts of sensory information from the external world that is stored in a web of information inside the INFJ's mind. Using introverted intuition, the INFJ then scans through all of the information, connecting the dots, seeing which patterns manifest themselves, and interpreting all the clues to formulate a projection of what may happen further down the road. The extroverted feeling of the INFJ also helps them to determine any underlying emotions and feelings that a person may be experiencing to project an accurate insight into what someone is going through or how they may emotionally respond to something. Someone with strong introverted intuition may sense that something doesn't feel right with someone they know. They are extremely adept at interpreting body language and vocal tones to discover if anything seems out of the ordinary or betrays any underlying emotions. They collect all this information and then in their mind, nearly unconsciously, reflect on it to determine what it means, connecting all the significant details that to others might have gone unnoticed. The INFJ in turn may experience an aha moment of suddenly understanding what is wrong with the person who showed what to others may seem as a barely recognizable difference from normal behavior. Another aspect of introverted intuition is that it is extremely visual in nature. INFJs see very striking images in their minds and tend to understand things through the use of symbols, archetypes, illustrations, and abstract terms. When NI dominant types explain something, they rely largely on these symbols as well as patterns and metaphors. This means it can be much harder for a NI dominant INFJ or INTJ to explain something in a way that makes sense to a sensor who relies on literal interpretations. What something looked like, felt like, and sounded like in exact detail. For example, a sensor might look at a chain and think, chains are made of metal. They are only as strong as their weakest link. I remember using chains to tie down cargo on flatbed trailers. An INFJ might see a chain and think, this chain symbolizes slavery, domination, subservience. Why is this chain here? While the sensor sees the chain for what it literally is and for its purpose, the INFJ sees a symbol of what the chain means. They also question why the chain is there in the first place, whereas the sensor might put it back where it belongs. INFJs rarely take things at face value, which is why they may seem to always have a contemplative, analytical appearance. When you say something to an INFJ, while they hear what you say, they don't really accept the words coming out of your mouth as the entirety of your message. They look at your eyes, your body language, your tone of voice, connect to your past, and then try to determine what you really mean. This can make the INFJ prone to overanalyzing, but often their insights are very accurate. Much of this intuitive process is done in a nearly unconscious way by the INFJ. This is why many of their revelations may seem to appear out of the blue. They themselves may not even realize in that moment how they receive these insights, but after careful consideration, they are able to understand how different clues led them to their insights. Dario Nardi explains it well in his book, The Neuroscience of Personality. The NI types often show a whole brain zen-like pattern. This pattern occurs when all regions of the neural cortex are in sync and dominated by brain waves that are medium, low frequency, and very high amplitude. What is this zen state like? When presented with a problem, the NI types seek to harness all neocortex regions in order to realize an answer. 
Imagine a troop of blind men trying to identify a secret object by touch. When one man fills a trunk and says, tree, another detects four legs and says, table, a third field tusk and says, boar. Like the blind men, each region offers a different perspective, and a zen-like synchronous state allows the person to reconcile various perspectives to arrive at a best fit answer, an elephant. All INFJs experience trouble when not following intuition and instead listening to the crowd about what's right, what we should do, and how we should react. It's confusing and hard, I know. And a lot of times you get hurt and feel regret for that matter. Why don't I listen to what my gut told me? I would have done the right thing. As an INFJ, your ability to assess a situation is one of your most powerful weapons. Imagine the feeling the solution will bring. Will it bring you peace or will it bring you constant worry? Try to calm your thoughts and focus on the present situation. When in a calm state, you will allow your inner voice a chance to be heard. You will allow it to help you make the best decision. Your intuition is the key for living your life how you imagined it. Trust it. Even though sometimes it might feel that it's leading you astray, believe in it. Your inner voice knows the answer you're seeking. Intuition is something all INFJs have in common, something that gives us the advantage, not because it will solve everything, but by following it, you will find yourself. You will find your purpose. It will give you the inner strength to become who you're meant to be.